Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashima. And before I tell you guys and like I start talking about today's video, please take a second and subscribe to my channel below. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, all my handle are will be down below. My Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that will be down below. So you guys can follow me and all of that because fifty percent of my audience is watching my content but not subscribed to my channel or not following me on Instagram. So I don't like that. Okay, so getting back to track today, I'll be reviewing the Delonghi Aurora UV Backlight Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, I created th this look, and I also tried out a few of Amazon brushes that I got. So I will leave the timestamps here of what starts where, so you guys can jump straight onto that part if you guys don't want to watch the full video. So yeah, without much further bakwas, let's get straight into the video. So this is the palette. It's the Delonghi uh, Aura Glow Eyeshadow with UV Backlight, and it is that holographic wala packaging which I absolutely love. Uh, but the ring light ke saath doesn't go that well because wo wahi dikhata rehta hai. And the mirror had like a plastic sheet which I removed as soon as I opened the palette because. No patience whatsoever. These are the beautiful shades, guys. I mean, how pretty are they? I love it. So I got it for fifteen hundred from a page called Skin Food Nine. Uh, I'll link their page in the description box below. So if you wanna get, you can get. Sare colors bought zada bright or bought zada out there. Hai. There's no transition shade. There's no base color shade. So I'll have to use that on my own. And addition, uh, like in addition, I am also reviewing these brushes. They're from Amazon. They're completely new. I got them like two days back or something like that. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys would want to see like an affordable brushes from Amazon kind of video. Also, because all the brushes that I have are from Amazon. That's basically all I use. My transition shade. I'm using this uh, Wildflies palette that I had. You can use any that you have. This brush is pretty big for me, if I'm being completely honest. I think I'm gonna start off with this orange right here. This pretty orange, and I'm gonna take this on the same blending brush that I had. I'm really scared because of how big the blending brushes are. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 This just got me excited. I think I'm gonna use the palette mirror only because my mirror seems a little too far for eye makeup. Okay. This does have fallout. I already have color on my nose, and the brush is not even close to my nose right now. This looks quite pretty, and I'm happy with how the brush is also working. It's just a little big, but I think it's picking up the pigment really well. And I don't like so warping the. Did you? Sorry. Just look at that pigmentation. I think I've just taken over all the orange that was already there. Taking a little bit of this green, I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid. Okay, I don't think the green is as pigmented as the yellow or the orange was, but still is very pretty. This pink, this pink right here. Keep it really close to the green and not gonna dip. I'm still merging it with the orange. When I use this one, it's calling out my name. This neon green one is really like. Neon yellow is calling out my name, so I'm gonna use this one. It just, it just looks very green. I think because I topped it on the green, but 
This looks pretty. And way less fallout than I expected it to have. I'm gonna use this teeny tiny brush and the yellow for my inner corner. Not again a lot of pigmentation like the green one, but it's still pretty. I'm gonna use this pink again for my uh, lower lash line. So I've taken a little bit of yellow and mixed it with the pink because that was way too dramatic for me. Like, your girl is not that much drama. I'm using a mix of my mascaras. I'm gonna use the Lash Paradise one first and then go in with the color bar one. This is what the eyes look like. I'm gonna finish off my face makeup, give you guys a final review on what I think and the swatches. And I'll verdict on the palette is that I really liked it. Even if I hadn't used the transition shade from Tushawala palette, this would have worked just fine for me. I absolutely love, love, love this palette. You guys are gonna see so many looks with it on my Instagram from now on. And the glitters are good. The fallout is not a lot, but I'd still suggest to do it before you guys start on with your base makeup because it does stick to your skin a little bit, okay? When I tried to like get whatever little bit I had under my eye, it took me quite some time to get that off. So that is one thing. The colors are pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful. They're popping, they're nice, but they are not very harsh on your skin. Like they don't like stick achy jaga. It's very easy to blend them, they're blendable. And the pigmentation is beautiful for some colors. So some colors, it's not that great. Like it's still there, obviously, but those colors in comparison may come here thoda. And yeah, for the price point also, I feel like it's pretty good. 1500 mein itne beautiful eyeshadows and shimmers. It's a pretty good deal, I feel like. If you have any cheaper options, let me know as well. I would love to try those. And yeah, I think that's it for like for the review. Now let's get straight into the swatches so you guys can see what the whole palette looks like. I love this palette honestly and yeah that's it so if you like this video then don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you're notified the next time I post a video